Oh, wait. So you were still working at the gas station? Yeah. yeah. So you at the gas station selling insurance. Yeah. And trying to sell more insurance. And studying for yeah, tests. Yeah, you work a hard. Yeah. I was yeah. working 55 hours a week. I was working 55 hours a week studying mm. six to eight hours a day for like six, seven years. That is crazy. While I'm still working in the business, still operating with uh, clients. For six, seven years. For six, seven years, man. And it took that long for you to get all those licenses. Took all that. Took all that time. Wasn't overnight. Wasn't overnight. People think they're gonna jump in and get it overnight. Oh uh, no, I take some grit and grind. Like I'm, I'm scrubbing grills at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to save up my money in order to be able to uh, be in this position to study to have the time. I only bring it home two, three, four hundred dollars a week. Wow. You know what I mean? Major sacrifice for years. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, God is good, you know, so opportunities pop up. I, I just, I just take them. We're yeah. not going to make it out alive. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. So at what point do you lead an Allstate guy? Uh, it was, you know, and I had never taken any time off of work. So it was like about, it was about, um, we worked together for about a year or two, mm -hmm. you know, so I ended up having another opportunity because I do now I'm licensed. So now I can work with a couple yeah. of different, yeah. so, uh, different agents or whatnot. Yeah. So, uh, I'd never taken any time off of, of work at a uh, QT, uh, the gas station. So I had to plan my time, you know, I had to be strategic on an exit strategy. A lot of people have jobs. And they're like, okay, yeah. so how do I get out yeah. this job? Well, I had an exit strategy. I knew that I was going to be vested in my company with a certain amount of time, with a mm -hmm. certain amount of income in my 401k. I know exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I had never taken a sick day, nothing off. I'm talking about, I just oh, work. Wow. So, but I accumulated all this time. So I took that time in order to Finished studying for my last test mm -hmm. and then organizing my brokerage at the time, organizing okay. insurance access. I came up with 20 names and insurance access was like, okay, you know. So you're saying one. now, hey, I'm going to do this on my own. A hundred percent on my own. What made you, it, did you ever consider like going from, okay, I work for Allstate, I'll go over to Geico and see her. Did you ever consider that? Or was it always, hey, I'm going to do this on my own? Well, it, it's all about just, you know, I knew survival i already had the the skill set i already had the personal development the personable yeah. skills most people get mad at their job like man i can't wait to get out of here i leaned into my job to hone my skill set yeah. to be better in my company they was trying to promote me uh -huh. so i took a day off and just never came back <laughs> they still waiting never on you came back yeah. <laughs> yeah. never came back i was like never. yeah and i was committed because i had like 50 days worth of sick time and so, but you know, I read this book called, uh, think and grow rich. Yeah. Think and grow rich. They say, uh, one of burn the ships. That yeah. means that this, this army came over to this land to conquer this land yeah. and they burned the ships because there was no intent to go back. So I didn't have a yeah. plan B. Yeah. So the first day I took off, I had 50 days. I first day I took off, we wore uniforms. Mm -hmm. I threw away all my uniforms. Mm -hmm. Oh, first wow. day. First day. First day, first day I took off, I was yeah. committed to the process. Yeah. You had I, already said it to yourself. Yeah. I'm not going back. back. I'm not going back. Not going back. I had a plan together. So some people just want to leave, but be the best employee you can at your current job. Yeah. If you're not the, a, a good employee at your job, you're not yeah. going to be good in business. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Because you're going to get out in the business world and it's going to eat you alive. Yeah. Most people going 30, 40% on their job and getting mm -hmm. promotions. Yeah. This entrepreneurship thing is different. You know, yeah. it keeps you honest. What you don't put into it is you what you get don't out. get out. Because yeah. how it works, you work, 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 get paid. Work, 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 get paid. Work, work, get paid. Work, get paid. Now you start getting paid. Get yeah. paid. Get yeah. paid. And then after that, it's still not your money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you got to invest back yeah, into back the into business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I learned from my mistakes. You know, that's every yeah. boss got to take a loss. You don't yeah. have to. Yeah. I would say get a mentor or somebody who could teach you something that'll save you five, 10 years. So you don't have to go through that. Right. Outside, Outside of the all state guy, did you have any mentors who were around you? Any people who were, you know, kind of a little bit further in their journey that was similar to yours or I didn't, I didn't. I just, just kind of watched plays, man. I, I watched people, you know what I mean? Cause at that time, you know, it, it was nobody in my space doing what I was doing, especially insurance. You know, that's a hard industry to kind of get into. It's not a people, a lot of people that look like me in this space, maybe life insurance, but not property casualties. Mm. So um, I got just 
desperate one time. I had, I didn't have an iPhone. I didn't know what social media was. The only app I ever used was Google Maps. And yeah. I got on YouTube and I would listen to this lady's strategies for, for marketing and things like mm-hmm. that in a tax space for about six hours. And then I bought her program. And I was like, man, this is getting tough. Like, you know, yeah. I was thinking about switching to the tax, tax industry, yeah. you know, because I'm, I'm out here now, yeah. you know. So she was like, best advice I could have gotten from anybody. She was like, okay, Mark, I see what you're doing. What do you do? You're an insurance broker. I know I'm a tax guru. Focus on insurance. She was my so you strategy. ended up reaching out to her? Ended up reaching out to her. That's the only- yeah, that was So the you first, found her on YouTube. Found her on YouTube. Ended up reaching out to her. Yeah, shout out to Krista Tyus. She, she was like a- a big member, big big mentor of mine at one point, but she told me that she gave me the best advice I could have ever get gotten. Just stay focused, yeah. Stay consistent. Mm-hmm. It's not fun right now. It's not comfortable, yeah. But stay consistent. So I took that advice, and it really just changed the whole makeup of my business. I really was able to crack that code at that time. So now you out on your own. You in the you you. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, but well, like, teamwork make the dream work. I got smart people around me. Okay, I'm not the smartest one. I'm, yeah. I'm really not. I, you got I, a partner I, right then, or or who you working with? Oh, just other business people around. You. Uh, other other uh, employees. Other employees. Yeah. So, so you hire some people starting out. Not not starting out. But okay. now 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 we got employees, but not starting out. Yeah, but I mean oh, starting out. I, oh. I mean after. You leave Allstate. You got your own thing starting. It was just me. It was just you. It was, it was just me. Me doing everything, making calls, making the the uh, business uh, meetings, yeah. you know, opportunity meetings yeah. and things like that, talking to clients, yeah. doing trying, to, trying my hand as social media, whatever. Yeah. You trying to do it all. I had, I had to. I had to. I had to. Yeah. And then that, that little bit of income that I got, I just mentored up and I listened to books. I listened to self-development books that said, hey, go hire somebody, go, uh, go get a mentor, go. I, one of the best books I read that reared me, I think, in entrepreneurship is Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. Mm-hmm. So it gave me the temperament to be able to say, okay, don't trip on my payroll. It's going to get me to another place. Yeah. Don't trip on uh, hiring and firing people. Prepare to be the only person in your business because, you know, no one's going to want to get it like you want to get it. Yeah. You know, don't get mad at folks. So I ended up saying, hey, and then after a while, um, go to conferences and things like that. So at that point, I just start seeking after people. And they didn't have to be in the insurance space. If you really to learn, I can, I'll pull you from a, a gas station. I'll pull you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You scrubbing that toilet really good, man. Yeah. Some, you, you thought about doing something different? Yeah. Opening my mouth yeah. and putting something in my head yeah. to be able to talk about. So, you know, that's what brought me to the place I am now. 